We're learning more tonight about a young man from the mid-state who was among the dozens killed in yesterday's shooting. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb joins us from Laverne High School where they're getting ready for a vigil tonight. Jason. Yeah, that's right. That vigil is for Omar Camp Campo. He died in that shooting and he just graduated from here in 2015. One day after Omar Capo was killed in the Orlando nightclub, his friend Omar. Daniel Suarez Ortiz still has trouble talking about him in the past tense. You'll enjoy to be with him. Like He'll make you have fun, whether you're at the bowling or the skating rink or just outside at the park, you know, anywhere. He will just make you, he'll make sure you have a good time. Daniel says Omar, who just graduated from Laverne High School last year, was going to school in Florida, trying to make it as an actor and a dancer. Me and this is Omar. But he kept up with all of his friends back here as much as he could. We would always Snapchat and we just talk, hey, how's your day going? I'm doing good. But it was when Omar didn't respond to a Snapchat that his friends and family got worried. He never opened my message on Snapchat, and he usually responds within an hour or less, and he never opened it. Omar's sisters say police told them he had been shot in the back and died at the hospital. Do you know, I just really don't know what to say right now, and it just still hurts me. Like, if I think about it, it's just going to get worse, and I'd rather not, you know, get in that moment right now. So right now, Daniel says he'll just think about that laugh of Omar's. Boy, could they use that laugh today. But he was just like the jokester. He will always make people laugh, smile. If you're in a bad mood, he'll make sure you laugh before you walk out. The vigil starts at 7.30 tonight here at Laverne High School. Now, Daniel has set up a GoFundMe page for Omar's family. We have a link to that on our website, newschannel5.com. We're live in Laverne, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.